Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is another live attack video. Uh, going to be an interesting one. Got a tough base here. We'll see if I can crack it. We do have the scout. We know where the Teslas are in these two locations by the Inferno Towers, and we also know there's some air skellies in this area. Um, not going to show the exact locations, but they're around that area, kind of spread out, and also a little red air bomb here, which I'll trigger at the beginning of the attack. But doing a Laloon attack on this base, got a Balloon Hound in the CC uh, for the defensive base here. Basically the plan is this, going to drop a minion here, my queen here, just to grab that air defense, possibly the archer tower also, that would be a good bonus. And then I'm going to go over here, drop a uh, bowler on this army camp, try to also get the second bounce onto the mortar. That would be nice because I want my golem, when I drop it next, to step all the way up to this cannon. That way it aggros the archer tower. I can drop my wizards in here, eventually have them step up and get this air defense. That's the goal because alongside those wizards, I'm going to be sending in the king and some valks. Uh, baby dragon here to funnel first, but gonna have a jump. Um, king, like six, I think no, five valks. Rage them up, poison the CC, which is the Balloon Hound and the Queen. The idea is to get the two air defenses, um, or I guess three if you count the one the Queen gets. Um, three air defenses, the Inferno Tower, the Queen, and then the CC um, won't be an issue because it's an all air targeting CC. Um, so get that taken care of. Uh, like I said, a minion here at the beginning of the attack to trip that. Um, that red air bomb, and then gonna laloon this thing. So basically, dropping my own lava hound at the bottom to go all the way up to this remaining air defense, like that. Uh, let's see, that mortar should be down here. Um, so I'll just probably be dropping in like three balloons there, four, four. I have 18 total, so that's what, um, 11. Another three here to make it go up to 14. And then my next uh, four like that, as well as in this area, also going to drop my CC Lava Hound to come over and continue the tanking, soak up more traps, all that good stuff. Also an extra balloon going with the Lava Hound, of course, for that 35 troop space. That's the plan. In terms of spells, I'm going to drop my haste here, a haste here, a haste here. Uh, in a haste here, as well as a heal right here. The heal is for the balloons. It's getting kind of messy, but the heal is for the balloons as they come through to this last little island, so they'll still be up to take uh, out the wizard tower, the last two expos, and that's pretty much that. Bit of a uh, bit of a long shot. I don't know. It's going to be a tough one, but um, actually one of the tougher bases. The only reason I'm attacking is because we have a scout on it. So um, we're still somewhere early into the war here. So anyway, let's go into Clash, make sure I have everything, and uh, see if I can pull this one off. Okay, got the jump, the rage, the heal, the four haste. I have two poisons, one for the air skellies that pop up towards the end, and one for the queen uh, lava hound or queen balloon hound thing that comes out um, against my kill squad. Troops look good. I am going to drop this and replace it with two archers to lure the hound to the side. No need to gem that because <laughs> uh, it was tech 10 seconds, but to lure the hound to the side after it comes out. Hopefully my wizards won't pop it, and I want to bring it down to the bottom so it doesn't become an issue for my cleanup troops. So I want to bring those archers, but looks like I have everything here. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, this one should be interesting. Uh, shout out to Tinge. He wanted to say hi to his mom, but I wasn't recording. I said I was recording a live attack, but um, they misunderstood me and someone said hi to their mom. So shout out to Tinge's mom if he's watching this. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and give this one a shot. Last time, minion here. I like just doing the first few steps in my head. Might as well. Minion here. Um, minion, queen. Uh, let's see, then Bowler, Golem, Baby Dragon, and then from there we're pretty much going with some Wizards, the Valks, King, Jump, Ragin, Poison, all that good stuff. And then the deployment, the 4s and the 3s pretty much in terms of the balloon uh, group sizes. And uh, we'll see how this one goes. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to try to talk a little bit more. I typically don't talk that much, but maybe it'll help me to kind of try to chat through this a little bit. Okay. Here we go. 
Start off with the minions and the queen. Make sure to keep an eye on her ability, of course, throughout the entire thing. Minion, there we go. Minion. Queen up there. Just make sure she's going in the general direction I want her to go. Okay, she will step up for that air defense, it looks like. Yeah, just keep an eye on her ability. Ah, it's targeting the wrong thing. Dang it, come on, gotta get that down. Okay, it's no big deal. Now it'll get that mortar, come on. There you go. Okay, golem. Baby dragon. Okay, looking good. Was that heal a little bit off? Mmm. Balloons. Yeah, I didn't actually end up talking much, but let's get this down. Um, dang it, we'll try to get some percentage here, I guess. Not much else we can do. Throw an archer down there. Um, I don't know. Maybe not the best plan. I thought the kill squad went well. If it was the... You know, maybe I should have gone the other direction in terms of coming at the base at the Inferno Tower and the air defense first, get that taken care of right away. The only reason I didn't is because it's kind of awkward here with the way the defenses are set up. Um, yeah, I deployed everything. The way the defenses are set up, it's kind of awkward to come at that Inferno Tower first because it's kind of a weird strip of defenses. Maybe just wasn't the right plan. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments, but um, ah, it sucks to fail another one. Um, haven't been doing too well on 10v10 triples. I'm I'm right there, kind of almost getting them, but not quite. Actually, a lot of spectators, even though it's kind of late. Um, yeah, this one, not going to go for anything. That's too bad, just not enough firepower. And I think it was, yeah, this the, the loon deployment wasn't enough. Even though I technically got a lot of the... I don't know why he's saying that. Uh, yeah, we'll let them... Uh, I'll get their their shout out saying I shouldn't tell people I'm recording live attacks because then the, the the chat devolves into that. But anyway, um, in terms of the attack, basically, I got a lot um, of stuff that typically is important to get taken out, such as air defenses, the CC, you know, at least neutralize, not really an issue anyway, but the air defenses, the queen, the inferno tower, a lot of it technically was taken out, but the shape of what was left wasn't good. And that often, I think, you know, I'm kind of teaching myself a lesson here that often I guess is the issue when the uh, the shape is just not good for your deployment actually a good adjustment here um, on the bowler it just kind of turned around I needed to, needed it to get this uh, mortar taken out because you can see this archer tower can't be tanked by the golem unless the golem steps up all the way past the mortar and I uh, needed to get the mortar a little bit lower on health so the golem could beat through it um, so that works out nicely the queen actually gets more than I thought she would but um Right here, uh, wizards go down. Pretty cool. I was able to target that directly. Uh, so get the air defense taken out. Actually, everything went very well. I would have liked to get that mortar, of course, but not a big deal either. Doesn't mess up the funneling or anything. The rage, maybe a little bit too far out, but still, they get the important stuff taken out while they're being raged up. Uh, maybe even one too many Valks, but at the same time, that air defense was a little bit close. I wanted to make sure I definitely got everything I wanted there. Uh, King actually goes through the wall and gets like one hit on the sweeper. But right here is the main thing, because if you look at the shape of the base right now, it's just kind of an awkward 
setup. It's like a, a weird little U they have to go in to go all the way around and back to here. I thought that Archer Tower would go down too, but, you know, oh well. Um, so here come the balloons. That first Lava Hound must just get eaten up. Um, maybe didn't even need it. I don't know, it only tanked some of those defenses momentarily, and really it doesn't soak up many traps until the very end. It goes ahead and uh, triggers some, I guess, some air skellies, which doesn't really help me, and also gets like one seeking air mine. Um, but here, here these balloons go in, they do an okay job, but the expos are kind of on them. The next Lava Hound timing was okay. I guess a freeze would have been nice if I had it. A good freeze rage would have been awesome. Maybe I should have done a little bit less of a mass. You know, that's what people were talking about in the planning as we were talking this attack over a little bit. Maybe using a little bit less in the kill squad and more in the Laloon because a nice, like, rage freeze over this would have been awesome. I could have frozen um, the Teslas in the Inferno or the, te or the Inferno in the air defense. I could have gotten that too. Um, probably all three of these buildings frozen with a rage that would have gone through it really quickly um, But the, it's trade-offs. I would have had two infernos up if I didn't go in as heavy with the kill squad So something to think about uh, let me know what you guys think, but I think uh, the loon uh, structure just wasn't good in terms of the padding they had to take and um, if I was able to get this area taken out on the base with my kill squad, I probably could have just come directly at this inferno. But with this stuff still being up, it makes it hard to come from that direction. So um, tough attack. We'll see if it can get cleaned up. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, I'll try to get a poll out soon. Um, probably tomorrow. You guys might have like a day, 24 hours roughly to get your votes in. No one got the entire 16 uh, predictions correct last week, but I want to give you guys the chance again this weekend. And uh, if I don't do a projections video, at least I'll try to get that out. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.